All right, y'all, I got some friends and family over today, and I live in Iowa, and it's cold, so we're gonna make some chili. Let's go. You guys are gonna love it. Make this one, enjoy the video. All right, y'all, you guys are gonna absolutely love this chili recipe. I actually sold this commercially for years. Uh, super delicious, amazing chili. Uh, we got uh, some ground truck, 85% celery, a uh, variety of peppers, poblanos, hatch, jalapeno, Vidalia onion, garlic, it's gonna be fantastic. We got more ingredients that we're also gonna incorporate at the end, and we're gonna make our own chili spice. I'm gonna get this ready to go, and uh, we'll get cooking. Let's go. Now, one thing I do recommend is that you guys keep the uh, leaves from the celery, make sure they're washed really, really good, and add those in. They are packed full of flavor. All right, I am gonna show you guys how I uh, clean and trim the garlic. Uh, super simple way. Uh, cleaning garlic can be difficult at times. What I like to do, take a knife, place it there, give it a little smash, just to loosen up the husk. Cut off the end, just like that. Peel husk right off. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of this garlic done. I'm gonna rock and roll. Now, if you smash it before you try to uh, mince the garlic, it won't bounce everywhere on you. So give it a smash. Similar to that uh, like and follow button for me. Subscribe. All right, just like that. All right, let's get the uh, beef to brown here. Let's come break it up into chunks. Just like that. Now we are gonna salt at this point. Get some black pepper going. Now this is the India Telecary pepper. If you're not familiar with that, uh, check out some of our other videos. It's explained there. Pretty good stuff. Get it from uh, Tenzi. All right. All right, let's let that beef do its thing. Now, if you ever make brisket, uh, using uh, next day brisket in place of ground beef is delicious. One of these days, we'll make a brisket for you. If you'd like to see that, let us know in the comments below. All right, we're gonna add a little MSG here. Now with beef, you can go a little heavier. Not a whole bunch, just a little bit. All right, that beef is there. You'll see that there's no more pink. We're ready to roll. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, onions and celery added. Now I did save the leaves because of the flavor. Uh, so we're gonna add those. As far as the celery to onion ratio, uh, keep it the same. So however much onion you yield from the onion that you purchased, preferably a Vidalia onion, keep the same amount of celery. About a cup, cup and a half.
Ah, smells so good. So good. I love this chili. You guys are going to love this. All right, we are going to go ahead and add the peppers at this stage. And of course, save the garlic for last. You only want about a minute to get it aromatic before you add everything else. So go ahead and get the peppers added. We got uh, a little bit of jalapeno. Uh, red jalapeno. Hats chili pepper. And poblano. Now, do you have to use this exact mix and ratio of peppers? No, use whatever your grocery store has. This is what they had. Uh, this is my go-to when it is in stock. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's get it stirred in. All right, since we did add those vegetables, uh, let's add a little more salt. Just enough for the veggies. There you go. Just like that. All right, we're gonna let that do its thing and then it'll be time to add the garlic. All right, as we let the uh, beef and peppers and onions do their thing, uh, let's get this ready. So we're gonna take a box of beef stock, Swanson, and we're gonna mix tomato paste with it. All right, let's get this incorporated. Now what this does is uh, most recipes use like a tomato juice. Uh, some just add a tomato paste and water, but uh, the beef stock and tomato paste mixture adds a ton of flavor, way beyond what tomato juice will ever do. It is delicious. Well, Cordell, how's it smelling so far? It's smelling good. It's smelling good. All right. All right, just like that. All right, so you could see that the onions are getting translucent when you know you're ready. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add the garlic for about one minute. There it is, as soon as you smell the garlic, done. All right. Oh man, this smells great. Wow, the smell of garlic. All right, you guys, uh, we're ready for some spices. Now I'm gonna show you how to make uh, my homemade chili spice. It is absolutely delicious. Let's go ahead and do that now. Get those stirred in. Ah oh, man, it smells so good. You guys gotta make this one. All right, you guys, uh, chili spice, let's go. All right, first up, ancho chili pepper. And we're gonna do two tablespoons of this. Just like that. Next up, wahilo pepper. And one tablespoon. Next up is Aleppo pepper.
All right, next up's gonna be uh, smoked paprika. After that, uh, Hungarian sweet paprika. Garlic powder. Make sure it's powder, not granulated. You could use granulated, but powder works better. Uh, onion powder as well. I'm just doing a tablespoon of each uh, outside of the ancho and the sugar we're gonna add. Uh, ground cumin. Uh, this is India ground. Love the smell of cumin. So good, so good. All right. Uh, Go ahead and add the sugar. Now, this one is optional. Uh, if you want it mild, do not add it. Uh, if you want it to have a moderate amount of heat, add a quarter teaspoon to a quarter teaspoon and a half. If you want it hot, Add uh, cayenne. We're gonna go for eh, a little touch. So maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon, just for a little heat. Nothing crazy, still kid friendly. All right, now we mix. Now, if you want uh, or need, I should say, uh, the chili to be thicker, uh, you could add some cornstarch to this. I let it naturally thicken. Don't prefer the cornstarch, but you can. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, uh, we're gonna get this added and let this go for uh, about an hour and a half. We'll get it stirred in. All right, now that that's stirred in, uh, let's get some more ingredients. All right, now that we got the uh, chili spice added, uh, let's add the rest of the ingredients to this recipe here. Uh, we got two tablespoons of brown sugar, a tablespoon of Worcestershire, and two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. All right, there is some Still more ingredients at the end, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, we're gonna let that go in 90 minutes. We'll be back. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, we are 90 minutes in and this is ready. We are going to uh, add the final ingredients to this. And uh, if you guys are wondering, huh, What's that pumpkin pie doing there? Uh, we just actually did the tasting for that video. And uh, let me tell you, we made it from real pumpkins, scratch made recipe, and the crust is homemade, old school homemade. So uh, you guys are gonna love that one. Check it out. Uh, let's get the chili done, yeah? Let's go. All right, you guys, uh, we're going to strain three of the cans and the ones with the uh, chili beans, we're actually going to uh, reserve that sauce and add that to our chili. 
Go ahead and get these cans opened up. All we're using here is a combination of light red, dark red, and black beans. Uh, I prefer the Mrs. Grimes brand over any of the others. Mrs. Grimes does not have a light red kidney bean, only red. Uh, I usually use Bushes, however, grocery store is out, so we're just gonna use the store brand. All right, just like that. All right, after we add these beans, about another 30 to 45 and it's good to go. All right, let's add the chili beans, shall we? And let's get these beans. So black beans, light red, and dark red kidney beans. Now, if you don't like beans, don't add it. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, the smell. So good. All right, you guys. We're going to let that go for another 30 minutes. Check back in. All right, you guys, uh, it's been 90 minutes. Take a look. Oh, yeah, she's there. Ah, oh, it smells so good, you guys, so good. All right, well, I say we get it plated, and it's time to taste. Let's go. Would you look at that? It looks freaking amazing. Cordell, what are your thoughts? I can even dig in there. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do it. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna get a little bit of that green onion, a little bit of that cheddar. Gotta get a cracker on there. Mm. This is my favorite yet. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Wow, right out the gate. It is like flavor explosion. Wow. Wow. Dude, that's freaking good. That is amazing. You guys have got to make this one. You are absolutely going to love it. When God. <laughs> well, Cordell, uh, what's the uh, Cordell scale on this one? Bro, give me a second. <laughs> Once again, he can't stop eating it. <laughs> oh, shoot. What are your thoughts? 11 out of 10. <laughs> well, there you go. There's a first. 11 out of 10. All right, ladies and gents, it's a 10 out of 10 for me, too. You guys have got to make this one. Until next time, ciao. What? <laughs> Dude, it's so good. Like right out the gate, just pow. Mm -hmm.